Hey gang, Jack Alair here, uh, just with a video game to show you, uh, Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. Uh, I picked this up on Steam a little while ago, but it's on Steam, uh, GOG, which used to be Good Old Games, uh, Desura, and a host of other ones. You can go to uh, DefendersQuest.com and take a look at the website there. It's a, a really interesting game. It's a... It's kind of a tower defense game, but it has RPG uh, heavy leanings in it. Uh, we're going to get into it here in just a minute. Um, it's I stumbled across it just by accident. Uh, I was looking for something to do and uh, happened to run across it. Let's go ahead and just kind of hop in here. I think I'm about halfway through, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, you see I'm a uh, level 12 here. This is uh, Azra, the main character. And I've got some other characters here along with me. Uh, let me start out by just looking at the map here. Uh, we've got the map as it comes across. There are all kinds of different places. Red means that there's a battle there. Uh, blue means that it's a town of some kind. Uh, black or the gray means that that town is destroyed or unavailable. Uh, so for instance, let's go all the way back here. And we'll just follow it around. Uh, we'll do a battle real quick. So when you're starting the game, you're playing Ezra. And she can essentially summon heroes into a halfway realm between death and life that can allow her to kill revenants and the revenants are what happened to people who are infected by this plague and this plague has been going on for a long time there's a war there's a whole big story going on behind this and it, it reminds me a lot of one of brandon sanderson's books uh it's different but there are enough similarities where i'm like oh i really like that kind of story uh but let's go ahead and play the battle here so there are uh, four different settings there's a uh, casual uh, there's normal, there's advanced, and then there's extreme. Each of these options has uh, a reward, which is the one with the yellow star down here. Uh, and then there's the perfect bonus. So the reward is just if you finish the level. The perfect bonus is if Ezra does not get harmed. So as you kind of click on these, you'll notice that the monsters will change. Uh, in the order, the rewards will go up, and they'll also uh, get different things. So that there's Glory of War, for instance, in this one, the Fallen Knight shows up. In this one, he's not there. Also, the levels go up. So let's go ahead. We'll we'll pick an, 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 the extreme version, and we'll go ahead and begin. And it's going to load up a map. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. These up here are the different waves that are going to come at you. They've got five waves. We've got one here. This is 15 of the worms. It's going to come out of the blue one, which is down at the bottom. The next one is the fallen knight. It's got a red. It's going to come out of the top one. And it just goes and goes and goes and goes like that. So, uh, we've got our hit points up here. Uh, we've got uh, psi points. And we've got four things that we can do up here. Uh, lightning, frenzy, healing, and uh, creating a crystal. That's kind of like a landmine almost. We've also got uh, some different guys. We've got our berserkers. We're going to go ahead and uh, place some of these guys. We'll go ahead and put one there. And then we'll put one up here. And we'll get it archer guy. Now, each of the characters has a range. Now, if it's in the colored in range or the shaded range, then it actually they can do damage there. The, with the archers, it's a little different in that if you'll notice, their range is kind of it's a donut. So they can't hit things too close. They can't hit things too far away. So we'll go ahead and put, uh, let's see, we'll put one there, uh, one there. Okay. Now we've got our healers. Healers, they heal. Imagine that. 
And they've got kind of a weird square area of effect. Let's go ahead and put one there. And we're gonna put there. Okay, so they can heal. These are our ice mages. Now our ice mages, they can slow people down. They came into play, uh, especially when we started playing around with some of the worms later on. We're not really gonna need them for this level, because we're we're fairly buff. But we'll go ahead and have one of those. We're also going to put out uh, some of our knights. These guys I just got. And they can actually uh, take down armor, which was a problem up until a little bit ago. So we've got some people out there. Now we're actually going to level them up. So just like in a normal tower defense game, you've got the characters and there there's one, two, three, four, and five you boost them it goes up to the next one so you'll see that little thing highlights he'll now have double hit so we'll do that and then now he'll have flurry and each of these guys has different things that they can do so he's got aid ether flash and then group heal uh, she's got ice ball and then if we give her one more she's got ice shard and then the next one up is the area of effect which is sleet uh, the archers similarly have their basic shot, and then they've got triple shot, and then they've got rapid shot, which is the really awesome one. Uh, the knights haven't really gotten far enough. They've got swing and smash, which are both uh, single attack. They are mainly meant to take down armor. They don't, they don't do a lot against a bunch of different people. So now we'll go ahead and push play, and it's going to kind of just run through it. Now it's going to start coming out down here. And these are the slug guys. They move pretty quick, but this is my one of my main characters. He is pretty awesome, so he can just kind of slap through everything that's going to come out. As you see, there are the little blue things scrolling across, going up into my side pool. That means that those characters are getting... Uh, I'm getting more side points, so now I can boost, I can boost this guy up here. And I can boost him. And I can go around and constantly increase uh, the, the levels of the characters in this battle. Now, once the battle's over, uh, we're actually going to get uh, experience, and then we'll be able to do other stuff. We're going to go ahead and speed up this battle, because this is... Okay, so I, like I said, really easy level. We went all the way back to the beginning. So here are the character screens. Got a perfect, Azura survived unharmed, got experience, and got scrap from the battle. So here are the characters. So the characters have uh, weapons and armor. And let me go ahead and grab... Okay, so here's my one of my archers, for instance. She has a bow, and she has fur. So she's got the antler bow, and she's got some fur armor, and she's got the skill points. Now, the they actually have skill trees, and they each do different things. Like, she is my uh, sharpshooter, so she does more critical damage. The berserkers are where I see the most difference in this, in that I have uh, Jackalair, who is 100% damage. He is just kill, kill, kill. And then I've got uh, Al who is, he's got uh, four points in resilience, which means that he actually regenerates hit points quicker as time goes on. So that that way, if I know that there are going to be a monster monsters coming through and hitting him, I can put him there, and he can take a lot of that uh, and suffer it. And of course, I got an email. So, let's go ahead and move kind of farther along. Uh, I did just pick up the knights. Uh, I'm having some trouble with some battles here. As you see, I've got like two and three. I've got three stars in most, and then I've got two stars in some where I just can't can't wrap my head around it. Maybe because I'm on uh, medication after my surgery. But let's go to a town. So the towns, once you enter it, it's going to have... If you haven't been here before, there would be story elements. There aren't any right now. But you can equip weapons. Now, the cool thing is is that the weapons will all show up here, and you can highlight them. 
but it also shows where the little guys are. It shows you if it would be a downgrade, a equal sign, or there'll be a green up arrow if that would actually increase it. So there are the swords, there are the bows, and there are the staffs. So see, uh, there's a there's a bludgeon here now, so this will actually increase one of my characters if I were to buy it for them. We're going to go ahead and buy one. Uh, we're going to give it to... Oh... Let's give it to Goth. She's been, uh, she's been nice lately. And we sold our other one. So we've got that gone. Now we've got armor. We've got the same thing here. We've got light armor. This would be a downgrade for everybody or equal to. Heavy armor, this is equal to, because the mixed mail is what everybody's wearing. You can also sell off spare equipment if you have some. I don't have any, because I travel really, really light. I do have this one. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We'll sell that. And we'll move on. You can also recruit new people. So, you recruit new people. Uh, you can click uh, random. And it just kind of goes along. You can also randomize the names. I'm naming everybody after everything from old D&D &D characters to fellow YouTubers. Uh, such as, I don't know if you paid attention, but I've got uh, Audie from GameStorm and I've got Dom from Dahmer's Cool Stuff. Uh, but it's kind of cool because there are the Berserkers, the Rangers, your healers, your Ice Mages, and your Knights. And you can, you can kind of pick and choose what you want them to look like. And let's say you know, I wanted some gold armor. Nice silver trim. Give me some black eyes. And then that way you can tell them apart. Does this need to be here? No. But it's nice. It's a great thing to have. And then you just click leave when we want to leave the town. So we're going to go ahead and go into a battle. Uh, this will take us into uh, just a battle real quick. We're going to see a little bit of story element. Uh, hopefully not a lot. And hopefully I'll actually be able to win. So I have not done anything on casual. We are going to go on normal. Uh, so we're going to have the revenants, which are the basic things. We're going to have the snake ghouls, which uh, they actually attack. We're going to have the Fallen Knights, they have armor. We're going to have the Mad Ghouls, they actually attack. And we're going to have the Worms, and the Worms haul. They run really, really fast. So we're going to do the Normal, and there's the Advanced, and there's C, the, the, the Mad Knight. Wow, that's, that's going to suck later on. So, well, let's go ahead and hop in here. Okay. Hey, new guy, let me fill you on some basic rules around here. The role of ruggedly handsome melee fighter has been filled. So why don't you just go here find yourself some sissy projectiles to throw. Okay, new guy? We wouldn't want you getting hurt on the front lines. You might break a nail or something. My name is Dom. I don't appreciate your tone. Tom Dom. Oh, you tell, you tell me? Oh, tough guy. Tough guy, tough guy hiding behind your manly armor. armor. These, These are, are the armaments of all the little, little girls that are scared of getting hit. That doesn't even, that doesn't even make sense. sense. Who goes to battle, battle wanting to get hit? hit. Even, even, even you, you wear pants, pants in battle? In battle. Not, not anymore. Not anymore. What? What? Just, just, just more revenant. More revenant. Check alert, Check alert. What, what on earth are you doing? This is a real fighting fight. fight. Put your, Put your pants, pants back, back on right, right now. now. Never. Do it now, Do it now or I will pull you, pull you in with the in rest, with of, the rest of, of us. Fine. I love the no, writing. The writing is just, awesome. just awesome. Okay. Okay. So. so oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay. okay. So we've got, so we've got three, three down, down here. here. And I and don't, I know, don't know what's left out of town. So, so all three, three have to have go, to go by, by that landing. Land land so we're going to take, take, take him. him. We're going to put him here. Yeah. See, 
I don't want him that exposed. But... Good. We don't have to worry too much because he's going to take almost everything out there. He'll get everything there, there, and there. And one of my cats just knocked over some water. Uh, there. Kind of living on the edge here. Alright, and game on. So now if I've done everything right, which I think I have, that's pretty much, wow, okay. He's just going to town. That guy's armor is down to nothing. Wow, that works really well. Okay, I like that. We are going to have the slugs come out of there, but that's not too concerned. There you go. So we're we're doing good. We're gonna we're not gonna need to use our frenzy or anything like that.
So now everybody out there gets leveled. Dom leveled up. Congratulations. And level up. Works just like you would imagine it would. Come in here. What do you want? Like, do I want him to get more range? Do I want him to get more crit? Do I want him just to do more damage? Uh, none of the damages are particularly great for me. The radius is tiny, but it does add up over time. Uh, the poison shot's nice. Deep shot, chance to bleed is always good. Uh, or I can just give him more crit. More crit means more damage. We'll give him more crit. Okay. Let's see. So. Oh. Dom's going to learn how to knock people back. That's pretty good. Or we can learn to counter. Hmm. Thirty percent knockback sounds nice, and then we'll do the San Sedamon, 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 whatever his name is. We'll give him one point four holy light, and then I actually leveled up, which means I can put more points in crystal, more in healing, more in frenzy or lightning. Crystal I have not found a use for really. It's personal play preference, but those things actually explode. Um, not too thrilled about those. I am big on using healing to bail myself out. And I really like using Frenzy. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we return to the map. Permanently assigned four skill points to four characters? Yes. And we'll get some more story. These were not my men. You must have come to the city from somewhere else. That the secret entrance has been discovered. We must move. Zelomir pursues us. Zelomir's the bad guy. Da da da. And now we keep going. All right. Well, uh, that's it. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, it is available on Steam. Uh, good old games. Impulse, Desura, Gamers Gate. It's got a trial on Congregate. It is an amazing game that is. A lot of fun. Uh, if you ever get a chance, uh, go ahead and pick it up on Steam. Uh, I got it. Uh, it's fourteen ninety nine. You can buy it right off of the website. It comes with a DRM uh, free version, uh, and that is uh, about it for me. That is Defender's Quest: Valley of the Forgotten. So, thank you very much for watching, and as always. Play on!